What's up guys, this is Muzza Fuzza. we're back with another episode of How to Pwn in Call of Duty Black Ops. Today we're going to be talking about the Dragonov, which is the first sniper rifle that you unlock in this game. I'm using the ACOG here on Jungle. Welcome to the Jungle, baby, you're going to die. Oh, now this clip is switching to Crisis. Um, I got a lot of weapon clips here for you guys, lots of yy lots of quick scopes, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay, because uh, weapon clips... Edited it together really nicely, all the good stuff, just good Call of Duty gameplay, me killing lots of people. That's a lot more enjoyable to watch than like a long, drawn out gameplay of me using the Dragonov, getting like a few kills and then letting my air support do the rest of the work. Um, so this really shows a lot of weapon kills with the Dragonov and uh, a lot of different attachments and camos too. So I hope you guys like the weapon clips in the background. Got a lot of sweet clips for you guys. Um, let's talk about the perk usage when you're using the Dragonov. Uh, I usually use either steady aim or sleight of hand. And then uh, every other perk is just kind of go-to, whether you want to be sprinting a lot, use Marathon. Um, if you feel like people are going to come up on you, use Ninja. If you want to play more defensive, uh, use Motion Senses or Claymores. There's all sorts of setups you can use with this. Just be smart. Um, and if you want to get a gameplay, you're going to have to play really defensively with this gun. And if you want to just fuck around and do what I do and get all these streaks, um, you can rush around and have fun with this gun. It's, it's pretty fun. It's kind of stressful, though, because you get a lot of hit markers with this. And uh, we will talk about why right now. Pop it on the screen, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, the weapon stats are there. It's 70 damage all the way across the board. Um, the headshots on sniper rifles are a little different. You got 2.0 for a headshot, 2.0 multiplier for a neck shot, and 1.5 for a body shot. Um, so you will be getting one-shot kills to the head and the neck. Uh, it's going to be a little iffy around the whole body or leg or arm or crotch region. You don't really know. Uh, personally, if I took a Dragonov rifle to the dick, I would be down for the count, um, at least in second chance, at least. But, uh, man, I would be writhing in pain. Uh, I don't really know why you don't die when you get shot in the penis in this game with a sniper rifle that could rip somebody's fucking head in half. But uh, it's not always about realism in video games, and that's why I like to jump off buildings and spin and no-scope and shit. Uh, it's all in good fun. So... Uh, what else about the Dragonov can we talk about? Talked about the in-game stats. Let's talk about the Dragonov in real life. Got the old Wikipedia page up here. The Dragonov sniper rifle, formerly the Russian... Blah, blah, there's no way I'm fucking reading that. Literally, Dragonov sniper rifle is a semi-automatic sniper rifle designated marksman rifle chambered in 7.62 and developed in the Soviet Union. Um, so this was developed in the early 60s, late 50s, and uh, it's a semi-auto gas-operated rifle. Uh, and it sucks in Call of Duty games. It's just notorious for not being very good. It's in COD 4. Um, it wasn't in Modern Warfare 2. But overall, not the best sniper. Um, I really prefer a good old Intervention or a 50 cal or an M40 over this sniper rifle. But if you want to mess with it, if you want to mess around, or if you're just not high enough level to use the L96, uh, you can have some fun with this gun, especially with the ACOG. If you haven't ever tried it before, I want you to get off, go play some Black Ops, and try ACOG, because my ACOG clips on here are just silly. Look at this. Look at that 360 with the ACOG, with the Arctic camo or the ice camo, something something like that. Now I'm on Berlin Wall here with the ACOG. I got a lot of ACOG clips. Um, the ACOG on the Dragonov is really fun to use because it's this like, little, look at it. It's this big-ass circle sight. It's a lot of fun to use. Definitely better than the Reg Scope with the Dragonov, but... Uh, yeah, that about sums it up for in-game info about this. I'm just pretty much going to play-by-play these clips. Uh, what am I doing here on Berlin Wall? Coming around. Killing that guy. Good. I don't know if I do any quick skill. Oh, that was a collat. That was a collateral. That's what that was. Okay. Didn't even watch the kill feed. I'm such a scrub. Um, what else could we talk about? Um, I guess I could ask you guys, what are you currently playing? Like, what video game are you playing right now as your main game? Um, whether it's a Call of Duty game, whether you're playing the Gears 3 beta, uh, Halo Reach, I guess, you could still be playing, uh, Mortal Kombat, Portal 2. What are you guys playing right now? What are you guys having fun on? And what would you guys like to see from me the most? Because I will try to make videos for, uh, for whatever game you guys want to see the most, because, uh, in kind of a slump right now. There's no good games to play. But we got Escalation here really soon, so I guess that will change. This final clip I will leave to you guys as my uh, deciding factor whether you want to leave a like and a favorite on this video. If you do like this final clip, please do that for me. Like and favorite always helps me out, and I will see you guys later.